Good morning and good afternoon. Happy Thursday. <clears throat> I will do a little warm up today and then we'll uh, go through our postures, about 10 breaths each, the five fundamental postures, and then walk through most of the Yang Ten style uh, Tai Chi set. So let's begin the day, feet about shoulder width apart, knees nice and soft, back nice and erect. Begin to turn the upper torso from side to side, just letting the arms swing loosely, keeping the feet grounded. And begin to deepen out the breath. No pattern to it to start. Just drawing the breath down deep into the belly, in through the nose if you can. Realize this time of year, a lot of people are struggling with that. But in through the nose if you can, and out through either the nose or the mouth. Nice, deep, even, steady breaths. And then let's take the hands into loose fists and begin knocking on the lower belly and lower back. A little wake up of the energy center. And then let's take that front hand and move that up to the shoulder area. And the lung meridian there. And let's come back down to the belly, continuing to knock on the lower back and adding a little side to side movement. It's rolling to the inside and outside of each foot. And then float the hands off the body. And let's begin to slow it down. Coming back to center and let's connect to the breath. Spinal cord breathing. On the breath in, spread the elbows apart, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Fold it all back in and gently fold forward as you exhale. When we get to the flow today, the yang, ten, 10 form, the closing form is really just a coming back to Wuji. So we're gonna add the single whip to cloud hands and take out that closing piece. So it'll still be 10 forms, just not the standard 10. Add a little turn to the top of these. 
Come on back to center as you exhale. And one last one. And then let's just rise into Uji. Just set up for our postures. Toe heel out just a little wider than hips width. Toes pointing forward if you can. Any knee pain, tilt the toes out just a little bit. Sit down just a little bit like you're on the edge of a stool. Back nice and straight, head nice and tall, tuck the chin. And then take the hands, backs of hands to the back right above the hip bone. And you can close your eyes and we'll take about 10 breaths here. And let's relax upright, release the hands down to the sides. And then sit back down on the edge of that imaginary stool. Raise the hands just a little bit to put some space under your armpits. Posture two, Uji. And let's relax back to vertical. Arms relax for a moment. 
And then sit back on your stool. Let the arms float up, fingertips pointing toward each other. Hands about heart high. I'll drop your elbows and let your shoulders relax. And we breathe. And flatten the palms, relax the body, let the hands float back down to Ruji. Hands float all the way up, the elbows bend about 90 degrees, and then squeeze the shoulder blades together. And the sensation we're looking for is your hands pushing forward as something pushes back against them. Sit back down on that imaginary tall stool and we breathe. You feel your hands floating forward, consciously draw the hands back. You want them about even with the ears, arms at about 90 degrees at the elbow. Relax back to vertical, turn the palms out, and then float them back down to Wuji.
final posture. Arms come out in the diagonal. About chest high, lift the fingers so palms are facing the floor. And then adjust your stance so that you're vertical again. And we breathe, final posture. And on an exhale, release the hands back down. Toe heel back in so that you're back in the neutral, hips distance apart. And we begin the flow. Hands floating up in the front. Elbows get heavy at the top. As we breathe out, everything melts down. Just let the body follow the breath. Let the breath do the work. One more time. As the hands float up, one of them floats out, another palm turns upward. Fending off the monkey. This long breath in as you toss the hand away. Long breath out as you press forward. Just take one more on each side. And withdraw that push hand, let that one fall away. Other hand loops around, we turn and press. Hand falls back across the body, other hand loops around and presses. Breathing in through the transition, breathing out as we push away. One more push each side. It's 
let that bottom hand float up like you have a ball, carry it to the center, and then bottom hand is gonna to toss away as we step out on the diagonal. Parting the wild horse's mane. Inhale as you reload the hands. Exhale as you toss that bottom one away. If that back hand gets confusing, just put it away. And just sweep out. Toss away that other hand like you're throwing a Frisbee. We're gonna get ready to go to the other side. So let's let that other hand come back into play. Fold extended hand in, turn the other one over. As you step in, now we've got our ball again. Other hand is on the bottom, step out, toss it away. Gonna get ready to bring it in. So last time out, turn the back hand over, fold the extended hand in as you step in. Now we've got our ball, let's carry it to the side, turn the hands on edge, drag them across the front. Top hand about even with the heart, bottom hand about even with the lower belly, lower dantian. Back of the top hand floats into the breeze, palm of the bottom hand. A breath in, cross in one direction. Natural pause in the breath as the hands trade places. And a breath out coming across the other way. Hands play with clouds. ready for our single whips. So as the hand comes across, top hand forms a hook. The other hand sweeps across and presses. Release the hook. Hands catch up, change places. Two times across. Top hand now on the other side. Hook, sweep, and press. Release the hook. Two times across. We'll do one more hook on each side. And two more times across. And as we come back, Golden Rooster stands on one leg. Shifting the weight from side to side, knee comes toward elbow, elbow comes toward knee.
One more on each side. Now both hands together, form fists and kick out. One more on each side. And just release the hands down and let them float back up, palms facing each other. Spin our ball, stepping out to one side, back of hand leads, the other hand follows. Hands float back across the body. As they come around, wrist crosses wrist, Press, separate the hands, pull back, push one more time, and then open. Recapturing the ball as you turn back in. Again, stepping out, back of hand leads, the other one follows. Sweep them both back past the body. As they come back, wrist crosses wrist, press, hands separate, pull back. One more push, open, recapture the ball as you step back in. One more on each side, grasping the bird's tail. Opening back up, recapturing the ball, spin it, hands float down, and they come up on the sides and cross, body dips down as hands come to rest on the shoulders. One more time. And hands come up, we come into our clothes, turn the palms over at the top, press the palms. One more time. As the hands reach bottom, toss one away all the way overhead. And let it trace down the midline of the body. Other side. Once more on each side, breathing in, eyes following that traveling hand, breathing out as it comes down the midline. Last one. And as this one comes down, both hands come to rest over the lower dantian. Putting the feet together just a little bit, and we'll close our eyes and finish with just a few nice long deep breaths. One more deep breath in. And as you release that breath, release the hands, give everything a little shake at the bottom. Thanks for joining me today. That was the five fundamental postures of Zhang Zhuang, followed by a simple Tai Chi based flow. Have a great day. Namaste.